Good morning. Hope all the patrons are having a great week. Hope you have some awesome plans for the weekend. We're going mobile weekly update. Right now I am on Trail Ridge Road. I just started up from, what was that, the Deer Ridge Junction. And uh, yeah, I'm just really thankful to have gotten in the park for free once again. I rolled through the north entrance, which is called the Fall River entrance, at 6.30 on the nose. And there was a park ranger getting out of his car, looked like he was coming into work. And I asked him, I go, what, what time do you guys start checking park passes here? He's like, what? I was like, yeah, sorry, excuse me. Um, what time do you guys start checking the park passes? He's like, there's no specific time. So I was like, oh, he looked really enthused to be working today on the 4th of July. Actually, happy 4th of July to everybody. But yeah, it is a beautiful day. Just unbelievable. I could not be happier driving over Trail Ridge Road right now. There's hardly anybody out. Yeah, it is fantastic. And then as soon as I said that, I come around the corner, here's some guy up here with his brake lights on. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm in the park. We're good to go. And the plan for the next two days so we're going to take it over Trail Ridge. I'm going to drop it down the other side. And I'm going to do Shadow Mountain today. And then I'm going to go down a little further south, closer to Winter Park. And I'll probably hang out there for a little bit this evening. Try to find a nice, good place to camp in that area. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go for Byers Peak. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to take it back down to the south. Grab I-70 and then take it on around through Denver and back up. Woo! I just had to execute an evasive maneuver to not plow into a deer. I mean, he just came jumping out of the side right in front of the car. I was like, slam on the brakes. Everything went flying forward, but I didn't hit him. I'm driving through Grand Lake. Granby or wherever I'm at right now, I don't know. I had to GPS the trailhead though, because it's kind of buried down here in between these two lakes. All right, and I am here, East Shore Trailhead. And this took like only two hours and 10 minutes this morning. Looking good. I'm done with the hike now, but my goodness, this highway that I'm on right now, what is this, highway, what am I, highway 40? Good God, this thing is busy right now. I mean, 4th of July though, it's actually pretty cool. I'm seeing a lot of flags all over the place and just people out having a good time. There are people all over these lakes out here, boats all over the place. I mean, it's, it's really cool, I'm, I'm glad. However, I just ran into rain. <laughs> this is bad right here, check it out. You guys checking out those brand new $19 wipers in action? They're kicking butt. I mean, they should though. Like the guy said, better and cheaper. I mean, I don't really know if they were cheaper, but they seem better than what I had before, so that's good. Anyways, guys, I'm rambling. I'm gonna keep going. I've got maybe 30 minutes to the destination. And then I'm gonna bust out the cans of the chicken Alfredo and I'm gonna eat. I am starving right now. I've got a new special ingredient today. Can't wait to show you guys. Byers Peak is clearly the biggest mountain in that area. You can see it from forever away. I mean, I was looking at it all day from uh, Shadow Mountain. I was like, man, I was like, that's got to be it. That has got to be it. Because Jamie said he wanted to do it because it looked cool. So I was like, that's got to be. I mean, that's the coolest looking one. But I really want to find a place soon because I want to eat. I'm getting hungry. I stopped and ate some fruit back there, but 
I want some fettuccine alfredo, if you know what I'm talking about. With the special ingredient. Oh yeah. See, I cooked this on a little lower heat this time. I didn't burn all the stuff to the bottom like last time. See, I'm learning. And then today, we got the super cheesy cheddar bunnies. Oh, so good when you drop in the cheesy goodness. I don't think I'm going to do a camping video this time. Not for public release. It's going to be just for the patrons. So you guys are going to get all the comedy. Just kidding. It's, it's really not funny to watch me eat. Dude, and people were talking smack on this meal last time. They're like, what's that crap? I was like, it's freaking good. $1.29 a can. I'm not joking. I got like a whole pallet of that stuff at home. And I didn't make the mistake this time. I brought two cans. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm probably not going to eat two cans right now, but I got them if I need them. No joke though, guys. It is really hard to drive by all those restaurants after you get done with a hike. God, I just wanted to stop so bad. Do you think having the empty can of stuff just sitting in my trunk is going to attract a bear? I mean, I tried to scrape out everything, but... He might still smell it. I'm going to try and eat this a little slower this time. Last time, I ate it too fast and my stomach was a little upset later. Well, I misjudged the amount of crackers for the amount of fettuccine alfredo. It looks like I'm two bites short of crackers here. I can't believe this is gone already. I need this to last longer. Yep, I need it to last longer. That is it. It is Gandhi. All right, I've got everything cleaned up and I'm enjoying some quadratinis. These things are so good. Like these little wafers. Dude, no joke, I can sit here and eat like 50 of these. And this is how we do it. Boom. What? Next time I need to do that over grass because I just splashed mud all over everything. See, I got it a little muddy there. That's okay. Good as new. It's so funny too because I haven't been camping very many times in my life. But one of the times that I went, I went with this guy and he made fun of me. Called me White Towel. He's like, what's up, white towel? Because I had to wipe down everything, keep it clean. He thought that was funny. He's like, dude, you're camping. Stuff's gonna get dirty. I'm like, well, not if I can help it. Boom, good as new. And I just got that all dirty again. God, golly darn it. It's cool how it all goes together like that. No worries. One more wipe with the white towel. I feel like I could be on the front of like a 90s rap album. Yo, what's up? Well, let's see how this thing does in the rain. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be coming through this window. So I think I'm good. Hopefully this doesn't last long. And hopefully the clouds clear out for tomorrow morning. I don't want to be up on Byers Peak and getting hit with lightning and stuff. Hey, what's up patrons? I'm back from the hike. And as you can see, I beat the rain. I mean, it's really coming down. This is nasty back here. 
My car was so clean before this trip started. Now it's totally pitted out again. That's all right. I'll probably wash it tomorrow. Look at how awesome these wipers are. Wow. Yeah, so far this drive back has been a complete nightmare. It was like 55 back there. We're doing like 35 because there's just so many people in a line going slow. It's ridiculous. Oh my God, let's go. I, I'm afraid now to get on to 70. It's probably going to be packed. We're probably just going to be sitting there, stop and go. Oh yeah, I'm totally screwed. Oh my God, this is going to take like four hours to get back. Yeah, at least we're moving now. Yeah, we're going 26 miles per hour, but at least we're moving. Looks like Big Bird just pulled in front of me. But a second ago, we got up to 38 miles per hour. We were going so fast, I thought we might go back in time. We're flying right now. Oh my goodness, 43 miles per hour. 44. Can we get 45? 46, 48, wow. I feel like Maverick in Top Gun where he's testing that plane. Remember, he's trying to get Mach 10 or whatever. Then he goes for Mach 10.1, 10.2. It's like, dude, why would you do that? You're trying to keep the program alive. And then you go ahead and disintegrate the plane because you went too fast. I mean, didn't you just kill the project right there when you destroyed the plane? Wow, we're hauling ass right now, 48 miles per hour. My God, I hope I don't get a speeding ticket. It was actually a really fun little two day camping trip. Shadow Mountain was pretty good. I mean, I could have picked maybe a more epic hike to do, but I really wanted to do that Shadow Mountain because it's a trail tag and I thought it'd be a good uh, warm up hike, you know, a good hike to combo with something else the very next day and I, I can't complain I mean what else could I have asked for the F-16s flew by that was awesome it was so crazy I showed up there and then like 10 15 minutes later just all these people started just piling in I'm like what is going on they all had like beer and all this stuff and I'm like <laughs> like what and then I found out you know later that they were up there to watch the F-16s do the flyby out of the Buckley Air Force Base. The guy that was there that knew all about it, he was like an ex-Air Force guy. And he was all upset because they were like 10 minutes late. He's like, man, he's like, they said 11.30, they need to be at 11.30. He's like, that's, that's a bad sign for everybody. They expected at 11.30, we want it at 11.30 because it was like 11.40, they finally flew by. It was totally worth it though. I mean, even if we really couldn't see him, the sound alone was awesome. I mean, you could just feel the sound. Oh yeah, oh, he's way down low. Yeah, you guys will never see this, but wow. He's flying low down there. It's like a thousand feet below us. That was awesome. We got two more bogeys flying in low. They're coming down over the water. Oh yeah. Can't really see them, but you can sure hear them. Here they come. They're gonna be coming up out of the, pulling some G's right here. Yeah, great two days of hiking. I'm telling you, it was good. Can't go wrong with the Shadow Mountain with the F-16 flybys. Man, that was good. Couldn't have picked a better time to do it, honestly. Couldn't have picked a better time throughout the entire year to do that mountain. So I lucked out. 
And then the second, you know, the second hike, which was the Byers Peak, wow. Wow, cannot recommend that one enough. The only thing I'm worried about is it was so dark and gloomy. I'm hoping the video is good. I mean, it's not gonna be all bright and cheery. It's gonna be all dark and murky. And I just, I hope it looks okay. I'm kind of worried. I mean, I don't know if I've ever done a hike where it's just been that dark the entire time. I'm telling you. I mean, at the end, I had to use the light. I had to turn the light on. You couldn't even see my face. <laughs> it's like totally black. But yeah, awesome two hikes. And I love, love, love my rooftop tent. I mean, it's annoying to have to deal with when you're not sleeping in it, but when you're sleeping in it, it's, man, I love it so much. I get the best sleep in that thing. I slept for eight hours straight like a brick. I think I fell asleep to the sounds of the rain. And then I woke up and I'm not kidding. I probably had like the six, eight hour window there where it did not rain in that area. I mean, it rained at night when I was going to sleep and it rained like two minutes after I got back in my car and started driving, started dumping. We're almost there. We are almost there. I cannot wait to take a shower. My face feels just crusty, just totally crusted out with two days worth of dirt and sweat on it. I mean, I tried to wash it last night a little bit, but it didn't do a good job. It still feels crusty. But yeah, that's probably gonna be the first thing I do. Well, the first thing I do when I get home is gonna be to load the video clips, get those going, then take a shower, then eat a pizza. All right, Loveland, one mile. We're at Johnson's Corner, the worst restaurant in Colorado. God, that place is disgusting. It's so disgusting. It's so funny too because when Travis was here one time, he's used to like, you know, drinking some beer and then going out at like 12 or 1 and getting food somewhere. I'm like, dude, this is not Kansas City. We don't have the options up here in Fort Collins. We have Johnson's Corner if you want to eat after a concert. We have Johnson's Corner. He was like, dude, let's go to Johnson's Corner. I'm like, dude, you're, I'm telling you, you're gonna be sorry he's like let's go there he's like i'm hungry i'm like okay it was i'll never forget this this was the funniest thing ever he ordered like something that came with a biscuit and gravy <laughs> like an hour later when they finally brought the food they brought this just looked like a pile of like green slime or something it was nasty as soon as she sat it down on the table, he goes, nope, and pushes it away instantaneously. He didn't even have but like one second to look at it. He was like, nope. It was, I'll never forget that. It's so funny. Right in front of her face too. I'm like, I don't blame you. I was just like cracking up. I was like, I do not blame you. I would not eat that pile of green stuff either. I mean, it's supposed to be gravy. It was, it was literally green. It was like a gray green. It was so disgusting looking. <laughs> All right, we're moving again. We're moving again. For some mysterious reason, we're all just driving normal again. I, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, guys, I'm almost back. I don't think I really have anything else to talk about. Hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes for the camping video. And until the next one, peace.